here we are in 2022 and our schools do not reflect the type of learning and teaching and technology that we need to equip our students for the 21st century. Guilford County Commissioners touring one last school today, calling it the most premier high school in High Point, yet materials inside are unusable and classrooms date back to the 1960s. Good evening, I'm Katie Nordine. And I'm Neil McNeil. Welcome to the Fox 8 10 o'clock news. Commissioners say the nearly $2 billion school bond, that's right, $2 billion, which will be on the primary ballot this upcoming Tuesday, will completely uplift the morale and educational value of Andrews High School. There's also a separate measure on the ballot, which is a sales tax increase intended to pay off that potential debt. Fox 8's Daryl Matthews shares more. Individuals are not gonna move here and send their kids to schools that are in this kind of shape. Worn out learning materials, dark hallways and decaying ceilings. It's what county leaders saw for themselves during their tour of Andrews High School in High Point. This is a representation of how schools, this county, individual citizens of this county feel about me. And that's disheartening. County leaders say if the $1.7 billion referendum is passed, there would be three new schools, 18 rebuilt schools and 13 schools that would be fully renovated. It is one fourth of a penny. It is not a quarter on a dollar. So that is the purpose of all of these educational sessions to educate the people on exactly what the quarter cent sales tax re represents. The increase would include certain items like gas, medicine and groceries. And so your essential needs are not going to be affected by this. Right. It's one penny on your four dollar Starbucks coffee. One penny. In other words, it would equate to five pennies yeah. per every twenty dollars spent on most goods and services in the county. The impact to their pockets is very little, but the difference that it's going to make for our schools is tremendous. The bond would be building on an initial $300 million investment from the 2020 bond passed by voters, yeah, which leaders say only funds a fraction of the needs. There are eight schools that are going to be directly affected. They are under design, and most of them are scheduled to be open by the end of 2024. But not everyone thinks the price tag fits the needs. I just don't think currently right now is the time for 1.7 billion to pass. Former Guilford County Commissioner Alan Branson says the problems can be fixed for a lot less money. There's a lot of things, uh, a lot of things that need to go on along with repair to the schools. It's gonna cost lots of money. 